Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service, here to provide you an update on the expected weather pattern change to atmospheric rivers with significant precipitation and rain on snow. It's not one storm, but potentially three different storms that we are looking at over the next week or so. Okay, uh, the weather pattern change has occurred. We're going from cold to tropical mild. The first atmospheric river starts early Friday for Southern California, ending on Saturday. It doesn't look particularly heavy, but there will be widespread rain and occasionally moderate to heavy rain on some of our mountain slopes. The snow levels will be really high, uh, up around 10,000 feet, so that's a concern with rain on snow. Potential for some flooding in rural areas, uh, small streams and creeks, and potential for some mud and rock slides along the highways. So not a good day uh, Friday afternoon and evening to travel in the mountains. Additional storm is expected next week. It looks like Tuesday, Wednesday. That one will be a little colder at the end. So maybe a little bit of snow in the higher elevations above 7,000 feet. But uh, the weather pattern still remains active even after that uh, as we round out March. The snowpack is significant. This is the snowfall. A lot of this has compacted. So for example, where you see 100 inches, it has compacted down to around 50 inches. But still a lot of snow sitting up above 5,000 feet. Uh, the water content of that snow was significant. It was between 6 and 12 inches of water. So the ground is saturated and the snowpack that's up there is dense um, and it is heavy. Here's a picture I thought you might enjoy. I took this uh, looking towards the north side of Mount Baldy in San Bernardino County at the top of Mountain High Ski Resort. You can see that the chutes are full of snow. The ridges, you can see those lips, which are cornices. Uh, these areas are potential avalanche slide areas, especially when we start seeing rain on top of the snow. Here's a satellite view of what's going to cause the rain and the developing atmospheric river straight out of the tropics, as shown on this image just east of Hawaii and pointed towards central California. The first storm will move through on Friday for our region in Southern California as the jet stream sags just enough, that red line, to push the atmospheric river down into Southern California, with the bulk of the rain being central California. The cold air stays displaced to the north. Now with the next storm next week, it taps into a little bit cooler air. As shown here, we see a bigger dip in the jet stream, especially on Wednesday as that next system moves through. After that, um, it's not over with. We still see an active weather pattern, as mentioned, taking us to the second half of March, around March 20th. The cold air remains in the North Pacific, keeping the jet stream pointed at us. Okay, the first atmospheric river is on schedule for Friday. It'll come in early to our north and then reach Southern California Friday afternoon, as shown here. It'll still be around into Friday night. The next system is next week. It'll develop an entirely new atmospheric river or plume of moisture from the tropics, as shown here. That'll slowly approach the Southern California coast, a little more of a direct hit next week, uh, late on March 14th into March 15th. Across all of California, this is a big picture view of how much precipitation, with most of this being rain below 7,000 feet. Uh, you can see some big numbers in central California from two storms, one coming in now through Friday, and then another one early next week. Now for our area in Southern California, uh, with very high snow levels, up around 10,000 feet, this is all rain. Light rain expected early Friday, becoming widespread and moderate at times Friday afternoon, lingering through Friday night. It'll taper off on Saturday. You can see that areas in Orange County will get much more rain than areas in San Diego County. 
Um, and the San Bernardino Mountains, where the big snowpack is, will get uh, considerably more and more widespread heavy rain in that yellow shaded one to one and a half inches. The winds will be a factor primarily in the desert slopes and the mountains and across our interstate passes like 10 and Interstate 8 where usually it's windy with most storms. Breezy for most of our coast and valley areas as shown here. So not a strong wind maker for the coast and valleys like some recent storms, but still windy conditions with impact in our mountains and desert slopes. Preliminary rainfall amounts for next week. This could be a little better storm in terms of amounts, larger amounts of precipitation. So this is a look at uh, next week. There's more yellow showing up on this map, uh, greater than an inch. And you can see in most places, amounts um, are double, uh, including areas like in San Diego County. A little bit of snow as that storm moves through uh, Tuesday night and Wednesday. So this will be the tail end of it. Again, primarily next week's storm is a rainmaker. The weather pattern, as mentioned, remains active into next week and even potentially beyond where you see the confidence for above average rain for this time in March being in Southern California primarily. So when all said and done, at least three more storm systems to move through here in March. Make sure you check weather.gov for the latest alerts, the latest updates on the rainfall prediction, and also for the real-time weather, which you can monitor at this link. Stay safe, everyone.